is going on guys welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the like make sure you guys are subscribed all right guys so for today's video i had a whole different video planned for today but because of not being able to film that video today it gave me the idea to film this video really wanted to post a video today so i was like you know what let me talk about why i couldn't film my other video so the idea for my other video today was I was going to go wash the bike. I was going to go to like about three different dealerships to go get an appraisal on the bike. I wanted to see who the what dealership was going to give me the most money for the bike. And if it was where I needed to be so I could sell the bike, I would have sold it. Or if it was like really, really close to where I needed to be, then I would have sold the bike. That was the whole idea for today. I was gonna go do all that, go get the appraisal, go right around, you know, see if potentially sell the bike today. But unfortunately, there's always a damn unfortunately. Two weeks ago was the last time I rode my bike. On the way home, I noticed the battery light kicked on. So I was like, you know what? I completely forgot about it for these past two weeks. Today, when I was gonna turn the bike on, it was completely dead. So battery just completely shot, it, it was done. It was time for a new battery. I think the last time I got a battery was like three years ago. So pretty much battery's dead. I'm like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is, let me go buy a battery. I go buy the battery, put it on the bike, ready to go, gear up. I'm like, all right, cool, Let me let me film this video. Pull out of the house, make a quick right, and I noticed the battery light turned on again. I wasn't getting more than 12 volts, and at that point, I'm like, damn, like, if I park the bike, the battery might die. It's not charging. The charging system is probably completely fried, probably already took a shit. The bike has 50,000 miles. It's from 2017, so that's about seven years already on the, like, that I have the bike for. So, yeah, guys, it... It was supposed to be a good video today, but unfortunately, this video better do good too because, like I said, I wanted to make a video for today. And yeah, guys, you know, I got the battery. I'm thinking I'm gonna buy a rectifier. I did buy a rectifier a few years back. I changed the rectifier. Battery's been good for these past, like, I think it was like three years also, three, four years that I put the rectifier and it was good. Everything was good, no issues. The problem is that I'm thinking I'm going to put a new rectifier. It's going to have a new battery. If the issue continues, then it's going to be the damn stator. The problem is with the street glide is that in order for you to get to the stator, you have to pop out the primary. You got to take the clutch out, the clutch basket. You got to get through the whole thing just for the stator. And if I'm going to do that and I'm going to get into the stator part of the, the bike, I might as well change the clutch. So with that being said, so it looks like it's just going to keep adding up and adding up. And I got some prices for like the things I need, but you know, you still got to keep in mind like little gaskets. You got to keep in mind the oils. You got to keep in mind if I'm going to take it to someone to do it, they're going to charge me the labor. So just with the stator itself, I'm looking at $150, just a stator. And since I'm already gonna pull the primary out and all that stuff, I need gaskets. The gaskets are $150 too. That's $300 already. Then if I'm gonna do the clutch, I'm looking at another $300 for the Screaming Eagle high capacity clutch kit for my Milwaukee 8. That's another 300 bucks. 600 bucks on the clutch, on the gaskets and on the stator. I'm gonna buy the rectifier a little cheap one just to see if it fixes it. If not, I'm gonna have to go through all this other stuff. But just right there, 600 bucks, another 120 for the oil, you're at 720. You need more parts for this. So I'm looking at maybe like close to $1,000 on just parts and then whatever they're gonna charge me to do this work because it's not easy and it's not something, you know, that I can do here where I live just because they don't let me work on the bike. I would love to try to like do this just because I love working on my own bike and I could kind of make it like a weekend project as long as I have everything I need, but I do not want to experiment with the bike. Um, yeah, guys, 
today's video was pretty much getting appraisals and if it came close to where I needed it to be, it was just gonna get sold. But now it's looking like I'm gonna have to invest into the bike, which I'm fine with. It's just, I want a different bike for the channel. So that was the whole idea behind it, you know, selling it, getting a stock something. I'm not gonna tell you guys what, but I'm thinking of getting another bike for the channel and then yeah, building it myself, doing the bars, doing suspension, doing whatever I'm gonna do to it and document it as I go because I didn't get to do that with this one. I just built it and that was it. Like there was no documentation of what I did. So with this other bike that I want, I do want to document everything. And um, and you guys take a guess, what do you guys think I'm trying to get? I'm not gonna give you guys the answer until this is fixed, until I go get the other bike and everything, but what do you guys think I'm trying to do or what am I trying to get? But guys, if you guys have any suggestions, any parts you guys think I should use for the for the bike to change all these things out, let me know. If anybody wants to donate, hit me up. You guys can feel free to donate for these parts. Another thing is if you guys want to buy merchandise to help support all these parts, it's at www.baggersociety.com. Make sure you guys purchase some shirts. Um, and hopefully I could get this stuff fixed soon because damn, like I, I haven't ridden my bike. I haven't gone on any trips. I haven't done anything this year pretty much. And I am trying to really, you know, I'm trying to get back on the road. So hopefully, hopefully I get this fixed soon. And then hopefully I get to film that other video where I do get the appraisals on the bike. If anybody's interested in my bike, you guys could go to my previous videos, see what it is. I'm going to obviously sell the bike fixed. But there's a set number that I have for the bike. And, you know, even with this cost, fuck it. I'm just going to eat it and that's it. I'm going to eat the cost, fix the bike so it's ready to go for somebody. But I am set on a price. So with that being said, guys, if you guys are interested, hit me in my DM on Instagram. Hit me on my email, baggersocietyla at gmail.com. If anybody's interested in the bike, let me know. I will figure out if we have to ship it, if I have to write it to you and fly it back, whatever the hell it is, let me know and I'll give you guys some more information about it. But yeah, guys, today's video is definitely not one I wanted to film. Having bike issues, I'm having bike problems right now, but it's part of the game, you know? You just suck it up, get it fixed and keep on rolling. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to film today after I couldn't film another video. But I just wanted to make a video for you guys. I know I'm, you know, slacking on the content, but I do want to pick it up and hopefully do more videos of these. If you guys have any topics you guys would like to, for me to talk about in this style video where I'm just here with the camera, the, the microphone and just chopping it up. Let me know if you guys have any ideas what we can talk about. And I would definitely read the comments and then I will go from there. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, Wish me luck on this uh, project I have coming up with this damn bike. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.